how are you all and i hope you all are enjoying all my recipes and if you are really enjoying i am happy about it because of that i am doing a pudding for you when i say pudding you like my puddings i know that so i am going to do a semolina chocolate pudding so we will see how that semolina chocolate pudding is going to be like thing i am going to do i will put the milk and start boiling milk i have taken 1 and 1/2 cups of milk fresh milk 1 and 1/2 cups once i take the fresh milk 1 and 1/2 cups you can see so we will boil this i will have the semolina roasted and kept you have to roast this uh, first we have slightly roasted now the day that i am doing it little more roasting we have to do i have already roasted and kept the semolina be ready uh, not till it becomes brown in color slightly roasted right i love the milk to boil once the milk boils you can see the semolina we have already made the semolina roasted and kept slowly slowly add it and don't add the whole thing together little by little add it and what you have to do is stir it stir nicely till the semolina gets mixed now what i am going to do is i'll first thing i'll off the cooker and uh, i have to add some more things so we will add that also and then go back i need a tablespoon of butter a bit of salt 3 teaspoons gelatin warm water mix it 1 teaspoon um that is a, like you know 1 cup of semolina 1 and 1/2 cups of milk we have added now i am going to add again all this and mix it well two egg yolks that also i will use i'll take off heat i'll keep it here and mix it nicely after mixing it well keep this aside egg whites two egg whites i have we have to beat it now sugar what i was doing actually 90 grams sugar i have put then we will mix this mixture into the semolina we will mix it nicely into that now only we added the sugar and the egg whites mix it nicely and you know it's a semolina chocolate pudding i said so we will see how it's going to be like i will use a little vanilla essence first right this is the mixture that i have done it for you now slightly beat it because i found that it's a little there were a few lumps so we beat it and that is ready now what i am going to do is i took a bowl butter it nicely and i have put a oil paper at the bottom i have taken the mixture and i'll put half into the bowl and i'll keep that aside i have got some fruits nuts cashew nuts cherries i have got cooking chocolate or cocoa you can use 2 teaspoons 2 teaspoons chocolate oh now i have going to use chocolate essence now we will add this chocolate mixture on top 
Now what I am going to do is we will take this keep it in the fridge if I am not in a hurry that is I am going to keep this in the fridge. Freezer if I keep only half an hour and then I can take and unmold it. If I am going to keep for say for 2-3 hours or tomorrow if I am going to take the pudding what I will do is I will just leave it in one of the shelves and then once it sets easy loosen with the knife keep in a bowl of hot water and turn it, it just slips out why because gelatin is there it will just come out once it comes out we will see what we can do with this pudding actually pudding is a very nice one so we will see I'll go to keep this in the fridge now not in the freezer only if I'm in a hurry for half an hour in the freezer otherwise never keep that in the freezer because I have unmolded kept in a warm water and then unmolded nicely it has come now we will do a small decoration for it so we will see how the decoration is going to be like and of course you will enjoy this type of preparation mm. these fruits are all out of marsipanizing so marsipanizing only I have used here others are parchment icing can see parchment icing all this can be eaten all marsipan icing I have made these balls you can have it just a small decoration so that you can see how it looks this is the pudding that I have done all can all these can be eaten and you also can enjoy preparing this type of a pudding this is my semolina chocolate pudding how is it I hope you will enjoy how will you enjoy unless you make it and taste it only you will know please try it out and see how it comes and how the taste is and then you are going to let me know how you feel about it please do prepare and see this type of preparation semolina chocolate pudding without chocolate also you can do only the semolina pudding otherwise with the chocolate you can have that's left to you and try it out and see and because what I am going to do is uh, I will try it out and see next episode I will come back with another recipe you know till then you are going to be here for one week try it out try all these recipes that I have already done and uh, you have to tell me how you feel about it thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you very soon with another episode bye from me now <music>